Okay, so I'm Ben. I think this is the first video I've ever recorded um, that wasn't like for learning Chinese. So I don't know. So I'm an English teacher in China, and uh, I think I'm just gonna post this on YouTube. I'm just uh, I don't know. I just want to like, uh, how do you say? Just think about the past year or so being in China, and like kind of the negative so i don't know like i feel like this is a really i'm at a really pretty good school i would say in terms of like china it's a international school um and yeah it's pretty good you know the money is good you know there's yeah you're pretty free before i was at training centers i'd work like it was maybe like 26 hours, but you know, you'd always be standing, you have to be energetic for the kids and stuff. But like coming here, it's like a lot better. But I don't know, like with COVID and everything, there's just like a sense of like, I don't know. It's kind of, and it's it's been kind of hard to kind of realize it, but there's like a sense of like gloom over like everyone and kind of even over like the city too and i don't know may or maybe not the yeah maybe the city maybe the city i'm in i'm in iwu so i don't know just for example like at our school here we have like office hours so when you have when you don't have a class you're supposed to be in the in the room so like the kids have an english learning environment but honestly like the kids don't really have like after they finish a class they don't have time to like talk to you if you know what i mean like they need to do homework everyone is always busy you know it's kind of like frantic and there's like not enough time to do anything so i don't know but i came to the school and i kind of came to china to learn you know more about the world but also have an opportunity to have more free time than i would in the u.s because when you work at a job here i mean you're only working right it's still a lot less than you know in the u.s right you'd be probably working like 40 hours you know you work at a bank you work at even for the government or something like that you know it's like monday to friday let's say like nine to five or something you know so here it's uh it's better you know like we have like a 90 minute lunch break that's the first thing the salary, I think it's a, like about almost four thousand a month, um, in USD. So that's like great, and you just have like a lot of free time. But the negative, and like kind of why I'm recording this video and what I want to talk about is like how I don't know, like you you come and then as someone who learns Chinese, like I'm always trying to figure out like what what is life like for like the average Chinese and stuff like that's kind of why I'm learning the language that's why I'm so interested in like one because people say it's the hardest language in the world like Mandarin so that's one thing but also you know it's not like Japanese where you can say oh I'm learning for like anime Korean for like I don't know k-pop or like some type of that kind of culture but like for China specifically it's more like how you know people's thinking and like what life is actually like in this you know place on earth and I don't know it's just kind of gloomy now because after I realize how it is you know like we make like 4,000 right but like they'll make like way less and then even to get to, I don't know a lot of people are struggling especially after the pandemic like businesses have died and stuff and i don't know like before when you come into anywhere you have to scan a code and then there are we have security guards right so in china like every place or community usually is gated like this right and so when you go into like we live inside the school that's another perk of the school it's free housing you live inside of the school basically almost like everything is free you have like in terms of money there's no issue almost no issue the issue is like lifestyle and management so you'll come in like let's say it's like i don't know you're just trying to have a good day you're coming in you have to scan the code but then like the thing is like 
you'll have to scan the code, but like other people will have to scan the code. Like the security boss's boss doesn't have to scan the code. The security guards themselves, they don't have to scan the code. The high people in the position at the, at the school, the principal, assistant principal, they don't have to scan the code. They don't need to wear a mask. But if you don't do it, then you get yelled at and stuff. And then because you look, you, you don't look Chinese and you're easy to stand out, right? You get like different treatment. So, and that was kind of happening all over um, for like, I'd say like maybe actually the whole time, right? So it's kind of just like a daily occurrence and like, it's like a small thing, you know? Right. But after a while, it kind of builds up and builds up. Right. And builds up and builds up. And then you're just like, OK, I'm going to like lose my shit. So that's the first issue. Now, the thing is, though, like, I don't know, it's like the things are always just seem to get, like, get strict or worse or like, I don't know, you just try to like have a normal life, you know, like you finish your work. You did what you're supposed to do. Maybe you want to like go down like you have a library or a or a cafe here. Maybe you want to like go down and just like chill for a moment or something, right? But you go down and then like people ask you, oh, why are you here? You need to be like in the classroom or something. You just, oh, I just came down for, to like get a coffee for like, I don't know, 15 minutes, you know? But it's like that pressure, like they just put it on you for, for some weird reason, right? And so that that's a lifestyle issue, right? It's like, okay, it's like in jail for no reason. And then, I don't know, in terms of, like, education, it's not like anyone is really checking to make sure that things are going right. And, like, you know, people are doing what they're supposed to do. And, like, the kids are learning and stuff. It's all kind of just like, okay, we need a foreign face. We need someone that doesn't look Chinese. And we need, like, their passport and nationality to market to parents to pay, to make them, you know, pay, like, a lot of money to come to this international school. So then that's kind of, like, the thing as well. So it's like kind of paradoxical like they won't like buy things for the classroom they won't buy like glue or like they won't even let you print papers to save paper you know what i mean like they're like they're like half you oh no you don't need you don't need these materials like they're trying to talk you out of like of like getting stuff but then like i don't know there's like up the street right here there's like a convenience store right let's say you want to go to a convenience store you want to get like a bottle of water now, when you leave the gate, they're like, the security guards are like interrogating you as if like you are, as like, this is like a jail or like some separate community or something. So it's like, I don't know, like I have to like, I have to like beg them to like let me out of the place. And like, let's say I'm not supposed to leave working time. They say, oh, you can't leave the campus during working time because of blah, 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 this and that. I mean, but like, why, you know, like, that's the first thing. Like, if I don't have a class, it's not. It's not, you know, education, the, the student's education is not being hurt if, like, a teacher walks out and buys something up the street or, like, gets takeout or, like, gets, like, a package. But, like, that's their, like, mentality. Like, oh, you need to, like, uh, ah, no, you can't do it because it's, like, the rules is the rules and this and that. But then, like, what the reality is, though, is, like, it seems like everyone gets, like, shit and it all comes from, like, the top it's like the cycle of like eating shit almost the security guards work 12 hours a day i feel like i think they get like two thousand a month right any any foreign teacher is getting twenty thousand. they get two thousand for a month work 12 hours a day like dead tired eyes you know what i mean like i feel like there's like mental health crises that are going on with the students with the management with like the security with everyone everyone is like eating some form of shit right so like that's their thing they get in trouble because like other people are like oh how dare you let like some people in some people don't come in like you need to enforce the rules blah blah this and that because like another person got in trouble you know like it's like i don't know, like i don't know i don't even know how it works i don't know the dynamic like in detail but basically it's like the principal is upset that something is like this and in China it's like not like people I wouldn't say like people really think about how to get things done it's not like the process of getting things done people want the results and then it's not even it's like how it works is you there are almost are no rules but if something goes wrong they need there, there needs to be someone to blame for it and if something goes wrong 
they you need to like um yeah someone is to blame for it so like let's say like there's like no rule right or like there's some issue and there's no system in place there's no organization to stop this issue when it happens the person in charge of you just says why how dare you let this happen you know blah blah, blah this and that but it's like of course it will happen because there's no organization no one talked about it if it was like the role was switch it's not about like their ability it's not about their their prestige their qualifications none of that it's just like who's up here who's down here so because of that i think like you know one person gets shit and he gives the shit to the other person and it's like a whole cycle the security guards get in trouble the teachers get in trouble then the students like will get in trouble because like the teachers will get fired if the students are out of control so like they hit the students and stuff like that or they're like bully the students and then like i don't know it's like a crazy weird system so i'm recording this video kind of like document my experience kind of and i can't speak chinese because i can't upload it because like my boss is there right so i have to upload it to a place where i can speak but it's just like i'm thinking about going somewhere else even though the money is great at the end of the day the most important things for me was free time and like being able to like pay for things and not be like super broke so as long as those two things are like good i don't know I kind of want to go to another place and the issue with the city is like it's all about business and stuff and like they say it's international but like there's no like life and culture to it you know there's no there's no museums like museums aren't popular you know like there's no book clubs and writing clubs and you know art going on all it is is like work 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 because people are like suffering and if you don't like go to a good place or even if you do get a good degree or something, like you still kind of like eat shit a little bit. So it's kind of sad, but in general, I'm just, I don't know. I needed to kind of, I guess, uh, talk to myself or to this camera to kind of put this experience into words and put this frustration into words. But I don't know, maybe I would do an English vlog as well. That would be a good idea because there's things I want to say, but I'm like, oh wait, I can't like complain about the school in Chinese and post it to where my boss and everyone else can see, right? All right, so there we go, thank you.